Okay, since so the game's done. Okay, so we've got Az with the inside scoop. <laughs> he's doing a slasher Ooh, here. He's waiting until exactly 9.45 p.m. before he releases his articles. But um, is it because it's like a seven pool and we'll know as soon as the game starts? Is that why you're Isn't allowed to tell me? It's simply because if I, you know, oh. I can tell you because once the game starts, that's what yeah. you're playing Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah. Alrighty, too easy. So we'll just get that game uh, on the way shortly. Yeah, I'm just telling them to invite us when they've done their vetoes. Yep, too easy. Should be good. So, how's, how's your week? How's my week? Yeah, it's um, Easter week, man. Pretty, pretty good. Relax. No, no uni. Lots and lots of not practicing. Like it's, it's like I get into this awkward situation where I can be out like with friends, but yep. I instead of like feeling like when I'm playing StarCraft I should be doing socializing. When I'm socializing, I feel like I should fucking go home play and some play StarCraft. some StarCraft. It's some I feel a bit fiction. weird when I get that that sort of emotion, but hey, it's good. What about your week, mate? What you been up to? It's pretty. It's pretty tiring. Like you can tell by the bags under my eyes. I didn't get a lot of sleep. Um, party central, I guess. Just going out lots. You know, it's it's yeah. Easter week. I should have been studying, but meh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Yellow. I've got like four exams yeah, and two assignments next week, and I've like not started. Anything. Yeah, I've got. This like week? a 2,000 word one due tomorrow and I'm starting it tonight. So well, it's only 2,000 words. Oh yeah, I can knock that out in like an hour and a half. Is it like fully referenced and cited and all that Um, You have to stuff? just cite like the principal cases. Like, um, It's basically just what's consideration. Um, consideration? But yeah, let's not talk about law. Yeah, um, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, dude. I think Cynic's just like walked out the door. Oh, he's, whoa. Rage, he's stormed rage, off. Rage quit. He's no. rage quit. He's gone to kick a hole in the bin. He just oh, doesn't I, care. Now, oh, <laughs> Moonglade said something to him at land. There was a fight. <laughs> he was ejected from the land. Moonglade's just being carried out by security. Oh, no, that actually just didn't happen. I, I actually would have loved it if that had happened. Like yeah, that. I, he is I would back in the building. Oh, there is Cynic's. We're just watching the man of the hour. If we could get like a cameraman, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, he said hi, but like. The, he I, I thought he thought he had a tunnel We're going to have a going. cameraman next time. Yeah. And the cameraman's just going to follow people around. <laughs> it's going to be really stalker. It's going to be really creepy. But the we do, we have a camera down there. Maybe we can like switch to that when he gets there. We can see him like yeah, we can unrage see. quit reverse time. Yeah, we can pressure. see him like sit down. We can see him relax. So, I wonder how he did against uh, Yuna. Oh yeah, it's a trans. Oh yeah. By the way, this is a transformer mouse. Okay, oh, you can't no. see it. Don't worry about it. Don't don't change back. Oh no, uh, now then it's then back. He, then he changes back. Uh, it's not my mouse. I think it's JB's. It's the Sensei, but it's like a Transformer edition. It's, it's actually really pretty cool. cool. Is uh, it is it Autobots or yeah, it's Autobots. Uh, uh, no, that's Decepticons, it's dude. Oh shit, it is. Oh. I suck. Yeah, like Transformers and anything. I just like, I shouldn't have eaten KFC. It gives me bad indigestion. Like it makes me want to burp all the time. <laughs> It does. The the relevance of uh, the information we're spitting out here. Is well, what do what else do we have to talk about? Well, we have a ZVZ coming up. We could talk. What do you know about ZVZ? Absolutely nothing. Have you watched the GSL like ever? Yeah, but my extent of watching the GSL is just listening to Tastosis and banter. Like I just love their voices. Yeah, they're pretty. They're pretty good. They're magical the together. Okay, we're getting invited into the game. Um, we're trying out another overlay again. Oh. Uh, yeah, I want to see how this one goes. It's called Test Overlay, so I'm assuming it's going to be bad, but YOLO. I should <laughs> not stay YOLO. I'm sorry. I'm just... It's like a force of habit. You say it at first, kind of ironically, and then all of a sudden you yeah, just... So you, you've never said it ironically. You've you mentioned it from the first time. No, right. You are basically Dreezy incarnate. Um, oh, God. Implying that he is not himself incarnate, naturally. Yeah, exactly. All right, so ready when you are. Well, as, as Moonglade's not in the game... I want to say they're probably not ready. When Moonglade is here. And okay. Uh, yeah, so ZBZ, uh, since Heart of the Swarm came out, it's been pretty... I oh know, I feel it's quite exciting, but on a similar vein, it's pretty stale. Basically, every matchup is uh, Ling Muta, heavy Ling Muta, and really oriented around who can take that third faster, safer, and just get that bigger Muta ball up. So that's essentially what I expect to see here. Maybe Sinx is going to go for a, some sort of early pressure, try and take a quick win off of his uh, very renowned opponent. But we'll see how it goes. Rank 1, apparently still rank 1 on TLPD. Yeah, well, yep. I don't know. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure he is uh, rank 1 on TLDP. He, w he was last night when I was having a look. So we, if we have a look at Team Liquid. Uh... And if you guys are new to StarCraft, Team Liquid is naturally where you go to find all the good content. If you want to find all the fluff, head to reddit slash r slash StarCraft. 
Um, oh, he's number two. He's number two to the Muslim now. On he was number ELO. one last night. Yeah, because I did check. Yeah, after today, he could be number one. Lance Smash All offers the big points. Big points. Point. Out of this. All right, so we've got another. Holy crap! Interesting. This, this UI is weird. Where, where, why is the game timer down in the bottom left corner? I don't corner know. And I, I don't think this top test. Right corner. I Can don't. we change this during the game? Does anyone know? I don't know. No, we can't. We can't <laughs> change it. <laughs> no, we, no we it, can't. this right. is actually just the weirdest UI. Right, so we're stuck with this. We are stuck this with game. this. I am right. so sorry, There's guys. There's a big cross on the mini map, so we can't see one of the bases of our. Uh, oh, cool. What the <laughs> fuck? You can't see the natural of. Oh okay, so our players in the bottom right. Yeah. In the purple color, we have Envy Gamecom's Moonglade. Oh no, this is so confusing. Oh my gosh. This is and, awesome. Uh, in the top left, wearing the blue, we have Team Envision Cynics. So strong Zerg, Kenny, Kenny. Take it to the champion, I guess, the Sea King himself. Who even thought this overlay was a good idea? Why would you send this to me, Blizzard? Jesus. It's God J damn it, JB. JB. You're not allowed to test anything anymore. Ever, ever again. Which upgrade? Okay. I don't know. All right, so, so he's doing a Ling pressure just as um, pressure Moonglade's all third's in. up. Yeah. Right, he's going to make a lot of lings. Yeah, he's going to make a lot of lings and try and do a lot of Basically damage. Basically, how ZVZ works, any, yeah. like, I feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so he's got, a, he's got a specific build worked for Andy himself. So it should be interesting to see how it works. Both players opening fairly standard with the 15 pull. Yep. It's f 15 pull standard, right? Yeah, 15 pull is, is the standard uh, sort of defensive play. You can go hatch first this uh, is in the general. Most retarded you but are, it is a little see. bit less safe. You can just die to early pull timing. So it's basically showing mutual respect for each other. They're not willing to take a big, big risk right at the start of this game. Oh man, this is so confusing. This is a really big, quite interesting map. Uh, the third's not not super duper hard to take, but like it depends on which one you want to go for. If you can go for that like one, the bottom third, uh, if you want to look at Moonglade's side of the map, you do have to clear out some rocks, which is quite time consuming, but if you knock down the second level of rocks, you do get a very safe third, but you have to naturally take it a lot later. So. It really depends on what unit composition you go with prior to lead into that. What if? Now, I'm thinking this is like a pro strat, right? Alright. You knock down, like you send a drone in, you knock down these rocks, and then you knock down these rocks. That's still fine. Um, Would that work, that, though? That, that can work, but I mean... Uh, the hatch is going down for both players. Uh, it's almost done for yeah, Cynics. Essentially a mirror build going on right yeah. here for both players. It's a little bit faster for Cynics, actually. Yeah, and uh, as is the Queen as well. Uh, the Cynics just finished. Yeah. I think Moonglade probably, him, or I would guess, probably has a couple more drones. Uh, uh, we'll check the units tab. He's got... No, no he's down. Oh, he's got Lings. Okay. I should have been paying more attention to production, let me put it that way. Okay, so speed started for Cynics. That's a... Was that a quick speed? I want to say it's like, it's not really a, it's not a quick speed, but it's definitely not like he's delaying it for anything else. I mean, Towards the end of Wings, we're seeing lots of, you know, very late sort of speed, uh, four, four-ish queen focus. Oh, he shows the bailing builds. nest. Throws down a bailing nest. Again, that's just a safety bailing nest, quite, quite possibly. There's no reason for Moonglade to assume that that's for any sort of pressure at all. But he does know it's there, so he does know that it's possible. Do you think Moonglade will go for a Roach Warren? Or do you think he's much more prone I don't to think go he's going to go for a Roach Warren. He's almost far more likely going to go for Lings. I would assume that fairly soon he'll put down his own like defensive bailing nest because yep. he knows his opponent's got his. So he wants to, there yeah, it there is. it is. And that way, with this timing, he basically, by the time bailings get to his base, he's going to have his own bailings to defend it. This UI is just, it, it shouldn't it exist. <laughs> it does hurt my brain. I'm going to delete it. Like <laughs> as soon is going to be so sour. JB can just deal with it. Who puts the mini-map in the top right-hand corner of I'm going to be complaining about this all game, even though it's my fault. And we do have two Evo Chambers yep. coming out for Cynics. And oh. uh, enough gas, so he's probably going to go... So he's going to go um, double ups. Double ups. So double up uh, Ling timing. Yep. So he's going to hit with like 1-1, one, one, try and hit with like really strong Lings. But what happens if a Bane Ling connects Well, exactly. That? I'm not sure how I feel about this. He showed a Bane Ling nest to Moonglade, so he knows Moonglade is going to get his own defensive Bane Lings. Yep. Which basically means that he, he, he's got to know that when this pressure comes in, his opponent's going to have at least two Bane Lings sitting there. And as we see Moonglade making four, so it'll depend on the connections. I mean, if you micro superbly well with these lings, you can actually come out ahead against Banelings uh, as a trade. 
He's getting but in general, that's carapace not gonna happen. first, but he doesn't have melee. Uh, I'm interested to see so what he's spent his like gas a, on, because like oh, he's making stuff. banelings instead. So, I, I think he might have made a mistake making two Evo Chambers. Like, he's not using one of them at all. Ah, oh, he is making banelings to defend. Okay, my mistake. Moonglade is just doing a pressure here. And... Miss Micro from Cynix, he really needed to get those two banelings onto the two banelings of Moonglade. So now these four banelings are definitely going to get in oh, damage. Look at those. And we need to see some Micro coming out. Oh, of that is a huge, huge banelings hit. There's not much he can really do from here. Like, he's just lost oh, a lot of drones. Oh, that is a lot of workers. He's down, like, 20 supply just about. This uh, is not a good position. This is not a position you want to be in. Absolutely not. Essentially, in ZVZ, what I don't know how you can come back from a position like this. He could have stopped this too. I mean, he had two banelings sitting down there at the bottom of the ramp. Yeah, and they he, just and didn't they were in front of the banelings of Moonglade. He just sort of moved past them instead yeah. of attacking. And I mean, ZVZ, these Ling Baneling Micro Wars, you know, one tiny error, and you yeah. just fall way off the map in the game. Well, now both of the upgrades have started for Cynics, but it could be too the late. The melee is very, very late. And we have a Roach Warren coming up for Moonglade. Yep. Really surprising. But he did get in there. He did see both of the uh, uh, Evo Chambers for Cynics. So he yep. knows that he sort of just has to hold off. Well, a he's big getting roaches. Pressure. Well, he's exactly. Get, yeah, he's going for a Roach. 1-1 one, one up, 1-1 one, one timing. I'd, I'd assume he'd just stay on two base. Like, maybe he'll get Burrow or something to go uh, with. He can probably afford to take a third with this. Yeah, well, he's getting Burrow movement. Or is that... That's, that's no, speed. That's, speed. that's speed, sorry. I thought that was Burrow um, movement. I'm really, l like, not surprised to see this. He knows his opponent doesn't have a last started and has two chambers. He knows muters aren't really going to be a threat uh, to stop a big Roach timing. And yeah. because he's definitely ahead in the work account after that big connection... He's given himself the timing to sort of make a lot of roaches and just go kill his opponent. And really we just have to see if our cynics can get anything done before this big roach ball exists. But I don't really see it happening. So this is Spore Crawler. He's preparing for the muters already. But the muters just ain't coming, man. They just no. ain't coming. And I can understand the like meta decision to try and defend against muters before they're out. Yep. Like they're the absolutely the most common Follow unit up. at the moment for so Zerg. Yeah, but when Andy pushes up with these, like, 12 roaches, we're just going to see... Like, he's hiding these roaches, he's waiting for his 1-1 one, one to finish. 1-1 one, and one in speed, yeah. There's going to be a big, maybe 20, 20 to 25 roach, roaches in this roach ball going to move out across the map. And Sinex just has lings on the spine. There's just no way he's going to have enough out in time to yep. stop this all-in, like... Or well, this pressure even from Moonglade. There's no reason for this to be an all-in Do you think all. that um, Moonglade should have some banelings back at home just in case of the counter? He, yep. he can, and it's not nece really too necessary, though. I mean, this is sort of overwhelming force, and the counterattack is never going to be large enough to sort of deal with just the reinforcements popping out of the hatcheries for Moonblade oh, in this situation. Oh, look at this. He's going to try and get the third cancel, but what he doesn't he know is... He will get that third oh, cancel, that but... He doesn't ooh. cancel the third at all. I don't Third's think it matters destroyed. too much in this case, unfortunately. I mean, obviously, you do want to cancel that if possible, but this it's is just too many roaches for Cynics to deal with, I feel like. That's a big roach ball, and Lings are just going to oh. melt in front of that. Is he going to go for the counter? But the counter could be defended with Banelings. Banelings and it will, in fact, I think, be defended by these four Banelings. I mean, Cynics okay, so Banelings, and, and they make a good connection. That's way too much damage there. I look at the supply. Moonglade doubling Cynics' supply here. So there's the engagement of the main. He doesn't want anything walking past his base, though. He, so could we see this wonky base trade situation? Maybe, but there's a lot of reinforcing roaches popping out for Moonglade, and they also do have plus one, plus one finished, as do oh, the Lings of Cynics. This push is and huge, it's pushing up into much, the match. Too much forces, I think, for Moonglade. This is no way. GG, well played. I'm going to change uh, that overlay, I'm sorry. I, like, just does not leave my brain. I guess the, uh, that was a terrible the big Ling pressure timing is a lot harder to pull off when you have no workers. Yes, yeah, so it's a lot harder to pull off, I guess. Yeah. Like, um, I just don't... I think it was like a misclick. Like, it would have just been, like, a slight misclick. Like, his, his move commanded past yeah. the Banelings instead of onto them. And, and, and that's really, like, unfortunate, but that's how close these games can be. Uh, ZVZ, Ling Baneling sort of pressures. I mean, the first two Banelings that got up there sort of did a lot of the damage, and I'm really surprised that Cynix didn't split his drones away. Like, he, he well and truly knew that those Banelings were coming up into his main. So, I'm not sure. Alright, so I'm um, going to give him back to game two pretty shortly. Mm -hmm. It's going to be an interesting game, I I'm, think. I'm expecting, like, either either Sinks is going to play like full defensive and be a lot like more conservative with making Banelings earlier this game. Yep. Or he's going to go full aggressive. Uh, both are, like, valid options. But against a player of Moonglade's level, you really want to pick one of those. You don't want to take a, a middle-of-the-road build, um, which is sort of what he did last game. 
And we do have Jesse complaining in lobby chat about the overlay, so yep. everyone knows that JB cannot design things. And should Maybe be JB just hadn't finished designing things. I see the guys over on the admin desk playing.